Bonjour tout le monde. Today we are going to do a verb especially related to the deaf Canada. So the verb is courir. Courir means to run. Okay, let us take an example. And this sentence is especially related to the writing task one of the deaf Canada exam that is fairly way. So we are going to form a sentence that the policeman has caught the thief while he was running. So let us take. Okay, in French we have le policier a attrapé le volard et l'or qu'il courait. Le policier a attrapé le volard et l'or qu'il courait. It means the policeman had caught the thief while he was running. So we can also write, also have courir un risque. So courir un risque means to take a risk. Okay, let us take an example. Ne courez pas le risque de traverser la rue sans regarder les deux sons. Ne courez pas le risque de traverser la rue sans regarder dans les deux sons. It means do not take the risk of crossing the street without looking in both the direction. Now to further enhance your vocabulary, we have un courir à pied. Un courir à pied means a runner. So, un cour c'est un grand courir à pied. C'est un grand courir à pied. It means he is a great runner. Okay, now let us stay. Un courir cycliste. Un courir cycliste. So, a cyclist. Un courir cycliste porte un caisse so, sur la tête. Un courir cycliste porte un caisse sur la tête. It means a cyclist puts on helmet on his head. So let us now. Now we have a courier automobile. It means a racing driver. So let us take an example. A courier automobile who a risk plus élevé d'accident. A courier automobile who a risk plus élevé d'accident. A courier automobile who a risk plus élevé d'accident. It means a racing car driver has higher risk of getting an accident. J'espère que vous avez apprécié la vidéo. Faites-le moi savoir dans les commentaires si c'est le cas. Je vous dis à bientôt dans une prochaine vidéo. Faites, prenez bien soin de vous. Bonjour.